All right, Lady Data, what is this? Okay, this is System 6. Now, I'll tell you, System 7.1 was the best of all the Mac OS systems, but System 6 wasn't too bad. This is running not on a Mac 6800 or Mac Plus. This is running on the Fruit Jam board RP2350 chip, and it's got four megabytes of RAM, if you remember. That's because we have PS RAM working. Um, Jepler got that working today. And um, so what this means is that we actually start running. If you only have 128 or 400K, you're kind of stuck on system three. I don't know if you remember, was there, I think there was four and five, but I, I don't know, I blanked out. The really interesting stuff comes up with system six. So um, we have system six now, it's on PS RAM. We're still debugging it, like it's very fresh. So like the mouse is being a little funky, like I'm moving it in a circle and you see it's kind of doing this like triangular motion a little bit. Um, so it works as long as your mouse is really slow. Again, I think there's some like IRQ, like we have to service the um, USB a little bit more. It's a little slower because we're using PS RAM, not true RAM. But um, like I said, we're using um, system six. So we get to do have stuff like control panel, which means we get to have, oh, move to the corner there, flying toasters. Uh, yeah, your classic after dark flying toasters here in a beautiful monochrome. And it's not too bad, it's not too slow. Like I said, the, the issue is, is mostly the, um, the mouse servicing is still being wonky. If you look over here, uh, this is a, a really cool debugging hack that Jepler did. So the Pico Mac uh, emulator doesn't have sound support, which I get, it's kind of like, you know, funky and weird. So Jepler isn't sending plans from Vega on how to build Something to go to like another. Toasters? No. Okay. Um, so see. what you see here is this Let's chunk go. of memory that's mapped into the video buffer. Um, and you see the bottom byte of the word, this is a 16-bit word, um, is static. And I believe that's the floppy drive controller, the motor controller. But you see these, this top byte is moving a lot. It's like flickering. That's the sound buffer, and it's actually an 8-bit PWM signal, and it's timed to like 370 bytes per skin line, I think, or frame, whatever. It ends up being 22 kilohertz if you do the math out. Um, so the next step is we have this I2S DAC on here, and we could use PIO to grab that data from the memory that does the audio and buffer it out so you can have a little speaker or headphones to play the audio. Um, just like a Mac, Mac Plus had a little headphone jack. So system six working, I got those flying toasters, so that's good. Um, the next thing I wanna do is try to get HyperCard running. Okay, another good demo. Another good demo. Fly my pretties, fly. <laughs> 